the nth term of a sequence a n is given by a n equals to so here we have the previous term for a n which is a n minus 1 plus 2 and also we have n greater than or equals to 2 then also it's given that the first term is 1 and we have to find its first four terms so let's begin so we'll start with whatever being provided to us so here we have our nth term of the sequence that's given by the previous term which is a n minus 1 plus 2 so since here we're given the condition that n must be greater than or equals to 2 so that means we'll start with the value n equals to 2 which is going to give us a in place of n we'll have 2 a equals to a 2 minus 1 plus 2 so that means we have a 1 plus 2 we are also being provided with the value of the first term which is equals to 1 so that means we have 1 plus 2 that's equals to 3 so this is the value of our second term now we will obtain the value for n equals to 3 which is going to give us the third term so we have a3 equals to a3 minus 1 plus 2 which is equals to a2 plus 2 uh, we have already obtained the value of a2 which is 3 so we have 3 plus 2 and this is equals to 5 so we have obtained the third term as well let's obtain the fourth term for this we will consider n value to be equals to 4 that means we now have a4 equals to a of 4 minus 1 plus 2 which is a of 3 plus 2 equals to so a3 value that's 5 so we have 5 plus 2 this is giving us the value 7 so that means our first four terms of the sequence will be we have our first term which is 1 followed by the second term which is 3 then we have the third term which is 5 and finally the fourth term that's 7 so this is the sequence which is represented by a and equals to a n minus 1 plus 2 problem number 2 the dna term of our sequence is given by we have a n equals to 3 times so we'll have the previous term of a n which is a n minus 1 plus 2 so here we are given the condition that n value will be greater than 1 and we are also provided with the value of our first term a 1 which is equals to 3 we'll have to obtain the first four terms so let's start with our second term which will be n equals to 2 and that means we have this so we'll put the value of n equals to 2 in this given sequence a n that so we have a 2 equals to 3 times a 2 minus 1 plus 2 which will give us the value 3 times a 1 plus 2 we are provided to the value of our first term which is 3 so we have 3 multiplied to 3 plus 2 so 3 times 3 is 9 9 plus 2 that's 11 so we have obtained our second term so let's obtain the third term which will be for n equals to 3 so that means we will now have a3 equals to 3 times a3 minus 1 plus 2, which will give us the value 3 times a2 plus 2, which will be equals to 3 times the value of a2, that's 11. So we have 3 times 11 plus 2, which will be equals to 33 plus 2, which is equals to, we have 33 plus 2, that's 35. And let's find out the fourth term, which will be for n equals to 4. We'll now have a4 equals to 3 times a of 4 minus 1 plus 2, which will be equals to 3 times a3 plus 2 equals to 3 times. What's the value of a3? We have obtained the value of a3 is 35. So we have 3 times 35 plus 2. And 3 times 35 will be, so we have 3 times 5, that's 15. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 will be 10. We have 105 plus 2, that will be 107. So here we have obtained the sequence so our first term will be the first term of the sequence that's three then we have our second term which is 11 followed by 35 and the fourth term will be 107 these are the first four terms of the given sequence problem number three the nth term of a sequence is given by a n equals to a n minus one so this is the previous term to a n a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 and this is the previous term to a n minus 1 now we also also given here that the first term and the second term both have a value of 1 then we need to find its first four terms so that means we need to find out the value of a3 the third term and a4 the fourth term so let's begin so here we are given a n equals to a n minus 1 
plus a n minus 2. Since here we are given with, uh, let's write down the value of a1 as well. So a1 equals to 1, which is also equals to a2. Now we are given here the condition that n must be greater than 2. So we'll start with the value n equals to 3. n must be an integer, positive integer. So we'll take n equals to 3. So this means that we have a3 equals to a3 minus 1 plus a3 minus 2. A3 minus means we have A2, the second term, plus A3 minus 1 means A1, which is the first term. Then suppose of the values are 1, so we have our third term, which is 2. Now we will go to n equals to 4, and this is going to give us the fourth term. So A4 will be equals to A4 minus 1 plus A4 minus 2. So this will be equals to A3 plus A2. So our third term, we have obtained the value to be equals to 2. So this is 2 added to the second term, so the second term, this value is equals to 1, and this gives us the value 3. And hence, we have obtained the sequence, the terms of the sequence. The first one is 1, the second one is also 1, the third term is 2, and the fourth term is 3. So this is, these are the uh, first four terms of the given sequence. Let's move on to the final problem. Problem number 4. So here we have the nth term of the sequence, which is given by a n equals to the previous term, which is a n minus 1, minus 1, and n value is greater than 2. We have also provided with the value of the first term and the second term, which is 2. Now we need to find its first four terms, so including a1 and a2. Right. So with that's already provided, so that means we will only need to find out the third term and the fourth term. Now let's begin with a given sequence. So here we are given that our first term is the nth term is equals to the previous term the n minus 1 -th term minus 1 with the condition that n must be greater than 2. Here we are also provided with the value of a1 which is 2 as well as a2 which is 2 as well. I will calculate for n equals to 3 since it's given here that n must be greater than 2. So we have a3 equals to a3 minus 1 minus 1. This will be equals to a2 minus 1. So our first, our second term, a2, that's 2. So 2 minus 1, which is the giving us a value, 1. Fine. So we have obtained a third term as well. Now we'll obtain for n equals to 4, which is going to give us the fourth term. So our fourth term, a4, will be equals to a4 minus 1 minus 1. So that means we have 4 a3 minus 1, which will be equals to. So a3, we have just now obtained the value to be equals to 1. So we have 1 minus 1, which is giving us the value 0. So that means our first term is r2. Our second term is 2, our third term is 1, and our fourth term is 0. So these are the first four terms of the given sequence.